guys welcome to my channel and this is your girl serenity within thank you so much for showing your girl some love if you are new here we do a lot of things here on this channel and thank you for coming and if you are returning thank you for coming as well so in this video we are doing my hair and as you can see i have this wig but what you don't know i paid 56 dollars for this wig on amazon so i was very skeptic at first but i said let me go let me try it out and see how it would be so I really just got this wig to have fun and I'm not crazy about frontals, but I said, you know what, let me just have some fun and do something that I haven't done in a long, long time, which is a frontal. So in the first process of me starting with my frontal or even a closure, I like to go in and bleach the knots. So I'm going in with the Collider Colors. I'm going in with a developer of level 10, a bowl and a brush with some aluminum foil. And as well, I'm doing a toner because I just seen someone else do this so i just wanted to try it for myself for the first time just to see how it looked and the results actually did come out really really nice i'm gonna tell you that so what i'm going to do now is i am mixing my lightener with my developer and i don't measure it just to say i just go with the consistency so i don't want for it to be like too rocky or too lumpy like this but instead it's a, like a smooth layering. It's not too watery and it's not too thick, but it's just like the right consistency. So this took me probably like three times to actually get the right consistency. And I like to go a little at a time only because I want to save product and I want to make sure that I'm not over using my product. So once I find the right consistency, then I go and flip the hair inside of the wig and then I layer the lace with, with the mixture I just created, sorry. And when you're doing this, you want to be completely light-handed. You don't want to go too heavy because you can then start bleaching the actual hair. You just want to get them knots. But with this wig, I feel like it didn't necessarily need it. Honestly, I'm just not going to hold you. I don't feel like it really needed it. I just feel like with a good, um, some good powder or some foundation, I would have been fine. But of course, you know, I want to make sure it looks like scalp. Okay? Scalp. I'm going to let that lay onto the aluminum foil so it could do what it's supposed to be doing. In the meantime, I'm going to start to do my hair. The first products I am going to use is Part of My Fro, and this is the Moisturizing Hair Milk. And I want to go with the Anti-Breakage Serum by Pantene. And guys, when I say this duo is to die for, I love the way that the serum allows for my hair to feel soft. Then with the part of my fro, I love how it moisturizes and hydrates my hair. It's amazing and I love it. Normally what I do is I like to make my own um, hair oil while I'm wearing protective styling. That way my hair is being protected under you know my wigs or whatever so i'm mad i didn't get a chance to do that but i will do that soon because i have seen a difference in my hair and my hair has been dry lately and also it has been arm days <laughs> i've been working out and my arms were killing me to do this but i got through it and now it is time for me to slick back my edges i'm going with some gel I couldn't find my Goss to be glue gel, so I had to use what I had, and it did the job. So I'm just going to lay my scarf right on top of it, just so that it gives a chance to keep it nice and flat while I'm maintaining my wig. Now that the time is up, I love the results, but then I said, let me still go back with using the toner. Now, if I wanted to stop here, I think it would have been fine because it looks like scalp. And I just would have proceeded to plucking. But I said, no, let me just try the, the toner because I said I was going to do it. So, of course, once again, I did not go with, with the correct measurements. I just went with the consistency of what I thought was just it. You don't want a lot because you don't need a lot for this part right here. You just want to make sure you focus directly onto the parts that you know that you're going to use. So, if you're going to have that middle part, that side part, make sure it hits that. But... I had just enough and when guys when I tell you using the toner just does something different I don't know why but it just does something so different to the finished look so you have to try it if you haven't so off camera I shampooed blow dried did all of that good jazz and look 
at this. The one on the left is without the toner, and the one on the right is with toner. So, I don't know. I loved it, okay? So, next, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me powder. And I just, I don't think I necessarily needed to do that, but it was like, why not? So, this was the part where I went wrong. I had the, um, the straps too tight. So, I, it wasn't really fitting on my head as flush as it should be. As you can tell, that is really, really tight. But... This is why I don't do frontals, okay? <laughs> I just don't really care to do frontals because it's so many different reasons. One, I don't like sleeping with the band. Two, I sweat in my sleep as well. Three, I work out so it doesn't, I've done all that work just for it to come off. And I hate wearing a band. It makes no sense. I can't stand the glue because it takes forever to come off. I don't like how my edges look. Once I, I, I'm not a big fan of the frontals but I did get the frontal just be just because to do something different okay it was just more so just for content and um that was that I am more of a you part wig girl half wig closure wig type of girl that's me I like to take it on and take it off whenever I feel like it so with the front two, sometimes the moment I start sweating, that thing starts sliding back. It feels like it's taking the rest of my scalp with me. So I'm not a huge fan of front twos. But I would say this, all of, overall about the hair itself, I would definitely get this hair again if it was in like a closure wig because I love the hair texture. It was easy to straighten. Um, it was easy to curl. Like I would love to do like different styles with it. Something where I know I'm not really gonna be going many places or doing many things for me to keep the wig on for a very long time. But other than that, guys, I'm telling you, the wig was bomb. I loved it. It looked natural. It looked like it was mine. It looked flawless. So after I did my makeup, I just wanted to go back in and doing a little bit more adjusting to the lace. And as you can see, like on this side, guys, it really irked me. This whoever have the patience with frontals, I give it up to y'all because I just know I just had it way too tight. And you can see like that little bold spot on that side right there. Yeah, that mm -hmm, yeah, mm, that was a bothersome for me. But overall, I love the wig. I love the hair texture of the wig it was it was everything to me like it really was so that's just basically it it's just me straightening the hair out now so guys thank you so much for coming to my channel thank you for allowing me to show you something new i will have the link below of where i um the link of this wig i got this off of amazon i believe it was 56 dollars. i could be lying don't get me wrong okay but either it was 56 or it was, I know it was less than $80. It was a really cheap wig, but I was very skeptic, but the hair was worth it. Don't be scared. You could go get Jessica hair. Her hair was really, really beautiful guys. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and guys, see you in my next video. Mwah. Don't leave me high and dry. Oh.